My name is Bill Evans, main contractor on uh, Sauna for Fortune Bay. My company's name is Shepherd's Construction, and I was approached about building this portable sauna. We started building it. First, we started off with a, a trailer, an ice castle trailer that has a draw for lifting up and down, and you can move it just much anywhere you want. And our first step was uh, putting the floor down onto the trailer which we use marine board. And then our next step was building the walls. And our trailer was eight by 22, I do believe. And we decided to make our sauna eight foot by 16 with a V front. When we built the walls, we just pretty much put our walls up at seven foot six. Decided later on, we'd add a couple windows to it. The next step was the roof. We didn't want a very uh, steep roof because at some point this is going to go down the road. The metal roof we put on. After the roof, we decided where our doors were going. We put the inside wall in for the sound of the hot room. After that was completed, we decided to put the windows in, which is a tempered glass window. Two in the hot room and two in the changing room. The hotter that sauna gets, if you just have normal glass in there, it'll crack, explode. Uh, the tempered glass takes that heat and absorbs it some. And after the windows were in, we focused on putting the, uh, the doors in, and we built our own sauna door out of a tug and groove cedar, two foot by six foot door. And after all that was done, focused on our site and on the outside and that we used half log siding pine before putting it up we stained it to make it look like cedar and after that was done we decided to put the stove in we installed a kuma stove a medium kuma stove it's really efficient for the size that we used for our sauna we've already taken a sauna in it it works very very well and then uh, after i got the stove in i used what they call uh, vinyl cement but it didn't put that over the whole floor. After that, it was all done. We worked on our benches for our sauna, which ended up being seven foot, three inches long. And we just have one set of benches at top, a lower bench and a top bench in there. And then our fender wells that we framed up, one of them turned out to be, you can be used for a bench also, which worked out really nice. Um, gave us more room. Our sauna will hold eight to 10 people. We put in the changing room, we put a, a vinyl snap-on floor small area but it was really nice around the stove we put some slate rock around it mortarless slate rock we put on there so for when you do move it it won't crack or nothing it has a little bit of movement so for when you go down the road it, it you know it's, it might shift a little bit but it's okay because it, we have room for shifting we have also have it wired up for our sound system. Speakers in the hot room and also in the chain room and two speakers on the outside. So you can take it a nice hot sauna and listen to any type of music you like. We have some lights in the sauna and we have lights in the change room and we have a sensor light on the outside door for when you're out there at nighttime. We also hooked up a water supply in there. It'll be used um, through a hose, garden hose. Um, we have a shower on the outside and then we also have a spigot on the inside for our water for going on in our, our stove for the sauna. And some of the stuff that we've uh, we've done is they're optional. You don't have to put slate rock around or you can come up with a different idea, whatever, whatever you would like. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.